Hey there, this is Chris Tyson from FlexPack, and we just want to bring you today some insights on can liners. What companies do right, what companies do wrong, some questions to either ask your staff or ask your current vendor when it comes to purchasing can liners. Uh, so today I have with me Tom Chagru, and Tom is our janitorial product specialist with over 30 years in the industry. So uh, Tom, what, do you, what have you seen uh, in, in your travels as the number one error that companies make when purchasing can liners? Probably the most common problem you see with trash liners is the customer is buying a bag that doesn't fit the can correctly. It's not uncommon to go into a facility and see a bag or a container with a bag hanging over this much. You're basically wasting your money when you buy a bag with that much waste. Okay, and then also I know one of the things that I see quite often is um, you know, the, the weight of the contents in the bag. Well, that's, that's a, a very good point. People buy a bag that's way too heavy for their needs. For example, if you used a .35 mil bag, which is the lightest bag in the market, that will hold 15 pounds of dry trash. So think about how many times in an office atmosphere you have more than 15 pounds of trash in your container. Yeah, not, not very often. And just as an example, this is actually trash out of my container. So like, you know, a typical office environment, there's paper, there's cups in there, there's, you know, some, some light plastics. Um, but it's, it, it's rather light and, you know, just to make sure that you have the proper bag. Nothing, like Tom said, nothing too thick, nothing too heavy. Um, you know, and a lot of people purchase bags, Tom, just because they have for a long time and the number's on the box, correct? That's correct. They've always done it this way, so they're going to continue doing it that way. Sure. So as you can see now, we have the proper, you know, the proper bag to fit the can liner. And Tom can actually quickly run through just how to measure so that you have the, the proper size bag. So if you want to measure for a can liner correctly, you take the container and you measure the width by taking diagonal across. In this case, it's 15 inches. That is the width of the bag. If you want the length of the bag, then you take the height of the container, which in this case is also 15 inches, plus half the size of the bottom, in this case 7, plus 3 inches for overhang, so that's a total of 25 inches. So 15 by 25 would be the bag you put in here. So there you go. So for people that have, you know, just keep on purchasing bags because it's what's in stock, um, you, need, you now know how to measure to get the proper can liner for that bag. Also, the other thing is just the variance in, in density versus high and low on, on bags. There's, there's two, uh, two types of resins that go into trash liners, linear low density and high density. And you ask the question, what kind of trash is going in the bag? If the trash has any kind of sharp objects in it at all, then you want to use a linear low density bag. If you were trying to put sharp objects in a bag that's high density, this is what would happen. You could you'd puncture it, and then the bag would simply zipper and fall completely apart. If you had a sharp object in a linear low bag, it would still retain its integrity no matter how, how many holes you put in it. So you're not going to have a, a, a bag that's going to spill trash all over the ground. So, you know, there's just a couple a uh, couple good pieces of insight from Tom. Um, you know, if your company is, has never really had, had a needs analysis on, on your refuse, on your can liners, if you don't know what linear density means, low density, high density, or you never heard the word microns, uh, you know, give, give FlexPack a call at the number below. Tom will be happy to stop on out to your facility and do a needs analysis. You can also visit us online at flexp.com, and we will stop on out with one of our janitorial experts and make sure you have the proper can liner for your your applications.